Hey, have you heard about the emergency alert system? Yeah, isn't that the same thing as the emergency broadcast system? Not exactly. While they both serve a similar purpose of communicating important information to the public during an emergency, there are some key differences between the two systems. Oh, I see. Can you tell me more about those differences? Sure. The emergency broadcast system was created in the 1960s as a way for the government to communicate important messages to the public during national emergencies, like a nuclear attack. However, it was later replaced by the emergency alert system in 1997. So what's the difference between the two systems? Well, one of the main differences is that the emergency alert system is more advanced and allows for more targeted messaging. For example, it can send alerts to specific geographic areas, while the emergency broadcast system could only broadcast messages across all channels. That's pretty cool. So does that mean the emergency alert system is used more often than the emergency broadcast system? Yes, that's correct. The emergency alert system is used more frequently for weather alerts, amber alerts, and other types of emergency notifications. But the emergency broadcast system is still in place as a backup in case the emergency alert system fails or isn't available. I see. It's good to know that we have both systems in place to keep us informed during emergencies. Definitely. Both systems are important tools for keeping the public safe and informed during emergencies.